Hey everyone, it's Christina and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be bringing you guys along with me for a work from home day in my life. I'm gonna be showing you everything that I do during a typical day of working online. And let me know down in the comments below if you like voiceover style videos like this one, or if you prefer sit down videos better. I just wanna say thank you so much for watching. I hope you are having the best day and let's jump in. One of my favorite parts about my job as an online business owner is getting to work with companies that offer incredible services that make my life easier. That's why I'm so grateful to be partnering with Wondershare High PDF on today's video. Wondershare High PDF is an all-in-one online PDF editor where you'll find powerful features to edit, review, protect, sign, and convert PDFs. It's a really great online PDF editor and converter that you can use on both Mac and Windows. So now I'm gonna quickly show you guys how easy it is to convert a Word document to a PDF using their website. All you have to do to convert a Word document to a PDF file is to go to the home page and click on the Word to PDF icon. Once you're taken to the next page, click on choose file and then select whatever Word document you want to change. Once the file is uploaded, click the convert button and once it's converted, you can download it directly onto your computer and now your Word document is a PDF. So now I'm going to go back to the home page and show you how to compress a PDF. Just click the first icon that says compress PDF and follow the same steps that we just completed for converting the Word document. I love that I don't have to spend time googling how to make changes to my PDFs anymore because I can do everything on high PDF. So not only can I change my Word documents to PDFs, but I can also do the reverse and change my PDFs to Word documents. I can convert my PDFs to images, I can edit my PDFs, which is normally kind of tricky to do, and I can also crop my PDFs all using high PDF. One of the best parts about this website is that it's free to use or you can upgrade to a paid version with extra features. So High PDF was kind enough to give me a code for you guys that I'll have linked down below, which will give you 38% off of the High PDF Pro license. I'll also have the link to their website below, so go check it out. So for those of you who are new to my channel, I normally teach English online to kids in China at 7 a.m. every morning, but because their Chinese New Year holiday just passed, I actually didn't have classes on this particular morning. So lucky for me, I had time to make myself a pancake breakfast. I normally only have something really quick for breakfast, but we were also running low on breakfast food, so I decided to make pancakes and then double my recipe so that I could freeze some for later. And this is actually such a good life hack. Rather than buying packaged pancakes and waffles, just make your own and then put them in a container in your freezer. Then when you're ready to eat them, you can just pop them in the toaster or the microwave and it's a really quick filling breakfast. I usually always add a bit of cinnamon to my pancake batter and then top them with chocolate chips and fresh fruit. And if you've seen any of my other morning routine videos, you know I always have to have chocolate incorporated into my breakfast somehow. <laughs> and oh my gosh, you guys, these pancakes were so thick and so fluffy. I'll leave the recipe down below in the description for you if you wanna make them because they were amazing. You already know it's not a day in the life of of Christina Marie if I don't have like 10 cups of tea. <laughs> this one is actually just plain black tea, but I usually drink some sort of green tea during the day as well. I feel like when it's winter, I always need a cup of tea to keep me cozy and warm. So today was actually really exciting because I was invited to host a mini live training in a Facebook group for business owners on how to start and grow your YouTube channel. I'm really trying to get my name out there a little bit more, especially with the release of my online course coming up. So I was super excited to host this training. I talked about my tips for starting a channel, how to get monetized, how to get people to subscribe, and also how to make eye-catching thumbnails. And I also got to try out my new webcam that I got for Christmas, which worked really great by the way. So I was super happy about that. All I could hear in the background while I was doing my training was Gracie's tiny little meow outside of my office door, so she was very happy when I was finally done. So the next thing I did was take some time to water my plants, and I'm actually so proud of being able to keep my plants alive for this long. I think they're just really tough plants because sometimes I forget to water them, but they still don't die. I think the trick is to look for plants that need minimal water. My aloe vera plant only has to be watered every few weeks, which works out great for somebody who often forgets to water their plants. So depending on what I have coming up, I always take some time throughout the day to do some planning and brainstorming. If I'm thinking about something, I find it so much less overwhelming to get it all out on paper and to see it in front of me. So sometimes I do brainstorming for video ideas, what I want to talk about and what shots I want to get. But today I was planning out the email that I'm going to be sending to my email list this week. I always put a lot of thought into my emails and I try to make them helpful in some way. I love being able to email you guys throughout the week because I feel like it just brings us that much 
much closer. If you don't get emails from me yet, all you have to do is go down to the description box and sign up for one of my free guides below and then you'll be added to the list. Lunchtime will pretty much always be my favorite part of the day, so today I'm having some homemade vegetable soup that, like the pancakes, I prep beforehand and then keep in the freezer. I like to make my soup with whatever veggies I have on hand, which usually includes broccoli, potatoes, carrots, tomatoes, corn, onion, and then lentils for added protein. Over the last few months, 90% of my day consists of working on my online course and training program called Digital Dream Life Academy. The course was actually supposed to be released at the end of January, but I'm packing so much value into it that it's still not completely ready. I'm really excited to give you guys the first peek today and let you know that the course consists of seven modules showing you how to build your own online community and sell digital products as a way to earn more money and work from anywhere in the world. The course takes you through how to create a professional look Instagram account that people want to follow, how to create a YouTube channel, film, edit, and create thumbnails, and also my favorite part where I teach you my never before shared secrets on how to get subscribers on your channel. I also teach exactly how to create and sell an ebook in the course, everything from coming up with the content to putting it in a document and taking payments online. The new launch date for Digital Dream Life Academy is around the middle of February, and I cannot wait for you to finally get your hands on all of this information. All right, everyone, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching, and I really hope you liked spending the day with me. And thanks again to Hi PDF for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to click the link below and check out their website. And also don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe because I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.